Hey everybody, Boom Boys here. Today we're on Lake Texoma, beautiful morning. Uh, I think it's gonna be perfect for winter dead sticking because the wind's gonna be about 15 mile an hour. With our boat, that's about enough to drift us about six, seven tenths without a drift sock. So I think it's gonna be a great day. Unload our boat here at Caney Creek and we're gonna check for fish right outside of Caney Creek. And also we're gonna go over to Soldier Creek where it's been good the last few times we've been out. Now, man, I don't think it's gonna be good for much longer because man, we're about that time here uh, into February where the fish are gonna start headed up, you know, to the rivers to go spawn. The fish we've been cleaning, you know, have got eggs in it and they're pretty developed. So uh, I think it's gonna be really shortly, you know, they're gonna get out of this deeper water. But man, we're gonna try this deeper water, uh, 60 plus foot. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. Let's get going. First fish, guys, Jeremy today. 65 foot outside of Caney Creek here. First we're drifting at about five to six cents a mile an hour. I told you the first fish. Jeremy. I was betting on you, Jeremy. First one's the hardest. Got all the chartreuse head and this, this coconut ice. This is a Z-Man coconut ice. Nice fish, buddy. Little guy. My dad got one, guys. We went over that right there and he got one. Last time out, my dad got one fish, so he's already matching that right from the get-go. 19 and three quarters. No, he's an over. He's an over. Listen to you. Ooh, there's some bait fish, guys. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Good job, Barry, baby! I saw that too. Good job. You gotta get on him. Yeah. We're drifting four tenths to 46 degrees. One time we got a connection with the guy. Oh, gosh. Today we got a white head with this coconut eye. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> There's another fisherman on the front of the boat, guys. Look at that. That bad boy. First, he acted like he had a little meat on him. Oh, did you feel me catching it down? Did you feel me? Uh, I got you, Hollywood. I got you. Man, dude, just chilling back here. I am. I was this new day. Try to put him on fish, all right? <laughs> It's so hopeful it'll put ah. me on some put me on some big old spoonbill ah. later on this year, you know? Uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Every time we're seeing bait fish, man, we'll get bites. Those fish are just right underneath them. There we go. Just like that. So also guys, we got the troll motor going about on setting two, going this way. Instead of just drifting, we're also going sideways. Feels like a nice box fish under. Oh, oh cutie! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, but I knocked you out. Yeah. I think I was right. I was right. I was right. Come on. Don't question me. Take the big right all the time. I mean this feels like it might be a box fish. Yeah. No. Who's counting? Who's got the right lure? Who's counting anyway? Nobody, nobody has oh, it's a lure now. Oh, it's a lure. It's always been the lure. Oh, it's always been the lure. Oh, yeah. Until Uncle Tim doesn't catch any. Listen it's up. a fisherman, you know? Oh, my. Oh. No, no, don't, don't make me my lure back. I can tell it's a picture fish. Nice one, buddy. Take a picture with it? Yeah. So today's totally different. The screen is almost blank, but man, the fish that are on there are biting. Check that out. John Barry just got one right there. Everything's a competition, nine to four. Got him. They're almost always in the roof of the mouth. That's why you got to keep tension on them the whole time. You let tension, and they're so easy to, to get off just like that. No, oh, he's found him my spot. It's his honey hole I'm in, guys. I'm spotlocked over my honey hole. <laughs> oh, man. The captain to do well sometimes. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Nice one. I just stopped, and I guess when he was going down after I stopped it and it snagged him. All right, we'll throw him back. 
Uh, my Uncle Tim just put on bubble gum. He's got a chartreuse head, exactly what Paul's got on. Looks like either our coconut eyes, but the pink flukes and like it's doing the best. All right, we limited out on overs on Texoma. You can keep two a piece over 20. And so now, man, it's just a uh, small fish hunting to hopefully fill this ice chest. We switched pods. We went about a half a mile. We're right in between Soldier Creek and Caney Creek. John Barry's hooked up. There it is. That's how you say that. <laughs> So we've been on a drought. We've been, man, three or four different spots. And uh, we're about at, oh, no more than half a mile from probably where we started the morning. Dude, I never heard See, a we're drought on the wrong line <laughs> more than you right now. See, we're on the I wrong mean, side. you know, it's Sean Paul, baby. Hey, my Uncle Dan had to come put his pole by mine to catch one, but hey. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Hey, Cal, my lure. We'll take one for the team. Ooh, this feels like a nice box fish. Come on, yeah. Woo! Oh, 14 to 13 now. No. See what I've caught like 15 myself. Hey, I've made a video sometimes. I see his phone go boom, and then you can wait one with thousand, two with thousand, three with thousand. And I'm editing and I'm just laughing. There's some oh. fish, guys. There it is! You can catch that, you can catch anything. Come on! There it is, there it is! A tiebreaker! Little guys. Oh, we got off. Nice one, bud. Good job, bud. Guys, today turned to be a beautiful day here on Lake Texoma. The wind died down. John my, Barry's my still pool, my, up. my pool didn't even bend. I was 1% oh sure that was a fish. Today they're barely biting. Uh, Mandy, you got to almost have your hand on the line feeling the bite. Good looking day, guys. Barely hit it. Ticked it just so slightly. Not crazy, not like the last few times we we're here, but man, there's some stuff on bottom. They're feeding here. You'd think we'd land more fish with this, but man, that's enough to keep us rolling. We're about 62 foot, about 48 degrees water surface temp. Oh. That's not a baby. That's not a baby. There we go. Oh, there we go. No. Whoa! Oh, yeah, baby! Yeah! yeah. Bob was excited! Yeah, baby! Mm. He ain't ready yet. Mm. He's got. He's Dad, got you need one. No, he's I, got, I was he's, getting one. He's got three people hung up. Um, most of his nice fish, man. That's the biggest of the day. Yeah, that's, that's an excuse. Oh. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah! Oh, come on, y'all, Oh, come on! Oh, come on! The mess not good. Got him in the roof of the mouth. Mm. Big one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 22. Oh, there. Oh, and Jerry hooked up. Oh. Come, Jerry. Keep away from him, buddy. He's a boxer. Huh? Yeah. Boxer. Yeah. Nice, man. Pull him up in here. What's crazy is Paul and my dad were using yellow line. Oh, I let him lost him. So they were using yellow line this whole time and not catching fish. The second I switched my dad to uh, a green line and Paul to a monofilament, they both caught fish. So 
So we put those yellow lines up, and I think that was it. I, more than bait, I think it was a yellow line. So what we're doing is, guys, when holding the pole, just put the line on the tip of your finger right there where you can really feel it. Oh, miss them. And, man, that's the key to filling these fish. They'll either barely tick it, or they'll raise up with it barely, and a lot of times they you'll miss it. They just up, it just raises up with it, it went slack. Yep. I put on a chartreuse head, midnight chartreuse. This is what we do really good on. If you've seen our other videos, hybrid fishing, this right here has done really well. Here we go. Woo! Yeah, he's, I'm pretty sure he's an My dad just drank him out and doing faster hook set. 19 and three quarters there. He's under. I got it up. No, should have 24. He's got 20 and I how many have you caught today, Jerry? I mean, John Barry, look at this. I mean, come on, how could you, how could you deny this? <laughs> 24 to 18. 24 to 18 people. That's that's official. I'm the official. Don't tell me that yellow line was <laughs> shot. Oh, gosh. You have me taking ID. 25. <laughs> I'm back. Oh. <laughs> I feel so bad, man. I give my dad the pole with yellow all day. Oh, that's a fat boy. Look at the head on that thing. Oh, yeah. Get him. That one might be really good. Pull up. All right. Roof the mouth. Look at that. Just like that. I was thinking about it. I was trying to put two and two to my head with y'all guys, and I was like, it's not the bait, it's not the jig. Yeah, I was like, there's something. And I'm looking at your poles, and I'm like, and he gave me his yellow pole, and I was like, double. Oh, he's wow, what a fish. Teamwork. This <laughs> reminds <laughs> the game. We're all in the game. Yeah, I caught that one, Dad. No, I don't think it's going to have him. See how still I, I did? I know. Here. Something. See how still I kept it? That one on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, this coconut eye has been amazing today. He wasn't ever watching at all. <laughs> Jeremy! Last fish! Nice box fish. What an amazing time on Lake Texoma here. I don't even, we lost track how many fish we caught today. Check this out. Man, this ice chest is stacked. The takeaways today was, first off, is a yellow line. Man, that truly hurt us. As soon as my dad, Paul, they got either green braid in their hands or the monofilament, man, they started just catching fish. That yellow line hurt us so bad today and it probably hurt us the last few times right here in Lake Texoma. So make sure you're getting out here with either some, you know, green braid or some fluorocarbon. And it seemed like the jig heads, whether a white jig head or a chartreuse jig head, the chartreuse, we caught more fish on it. Now the coconut ice was a hot lure out here. It's a Z-Man. It's one of those 10X lures. That thing lasted all trip, guys. Way better than the flukes, man. Those flukes hardly last. You'll go through those things so fast. And I don't even think we went through one of the Z-Man, those 10 X's. Those things are amazing. We're gonna actually go get some more of those. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please up to the Boom Boys and we'll see you out here again soon. End of the day, great, great day here in Texoma. Bye.